The 19th century British monarch wrote of her terrible sorrows just three days after youngest son Prince Leopold died in an accident, aged 30. The two-page letter is expected to raise around £3,000 when it goes under auction at Swan Auction Galleries, New York, on March 21. Writing to the Poet Laureate from Windsor Castle, a heartbroken Queen Victoria said, Almost all I needed most to lean on are taken from me. Royal baby named, the touching nod Meghan could make to the Queen Meghan Markle is the first Duchess of Sussex in history, but though all happiness is at an end for me in this world, I am ready to fight on, praying that I may be supported in bearing my heavy cross. All these terrible sorrows show us, however, truly and really, that here is not our abiding home," she added, it is very hard to see such a young life, so full of talent, so gifted and so useful cut off so soon. While I live, I shall devote myself to the good of my dear country, who has on all occasions of sorrow shown such sympathy with me. Prince Albert is thought to have died of typhoid 23 years before Victoria wrote the letter. Following Albert's death, Victoria was comforted by Tennyson's 1850 poem in memoriam. Albert had backed Tennyson to become poet laureate in 1850. Victoria met Tennyson in 1883 and revealed to him how important his poems had been to her during dark times. Victoria Season 3, Episode 3, What Will Happen Next? Queen Elizabeth Family Tree, How European Royals Are Related to Queen Leopold Suffered from Haemophilia and to the South of France on Doctor's Orders in February, 1884. He died a month later of a cerebral hemorrhage. Ivan McQuiston, a consultant for Swan Auction Galleries, said, This letter appearing now brings back into the public limelight one of the more interesting members of the royal family. Because Leopold died so young and he was never going to be king, he disappeared from the public's consciousness. But he was very close to his mother and she called him her favorite son. He was particularly bright, and this was something that Tennyson recognized in him. Victoria was very taken with Tennyson. When Albert died everybody knows how bereft she was, and she told Tennyson that in memoriam really comforted her. You can see in her letter that, bearing in mind it was over 20 years after Albert's death, she was still referring to her loss. It was written three days after Leopold's death and was probably in response to 